Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Simplified Computer Science Concepts by Professor Rutuja. Today we will be learning relational algebra operations that is a projection operation that is a unary operation. Let us go to the projection operation. This projection operation is nothing but unary relational op algebra operation. When we say unary that means it operates on only one table. Projection operation selects the col column of the relation. It deletes the columns that are not in the projection list. Basically, it does vertical partitioning of the relation in the two sets. The first set is the set of columns to be displayed and the second set is the columns to be discarded. And it is denoted by pi symbol. So the notation of projection operation is pi. The attribute list R stands for the relation name. So here R is nothing but the relation name or the table name and the attributes list is nothing but the attributes to be considered for this projection operation from the relation R. Now this projection operation, it, du uh, it eliminates uh, the duplicate rows. Why we are saying so? So here first of all, this is the table that we are considering and I just want to display the name and the age uh, of the employees. However, if you just observe, there are uh, records which is having similar name and age. So here that means it is a replication of the record. So when I am I'm performing a projection operation, it will consider or it will eliminate the duplicate record and it will only display one record on behalf of the two records. So ideally in the in the entire table there are four operations but when I am doing projection operation it will display three records because the one which is duplicated is eliminated. So if you find over here ABC PQR and this ABC is discarded and this PQR is considered. Now if you again see there is repetition of PQR but then the age is different over here so it is not considered as a duplicate record. So projection operation duplicate rows will be eliminated. Then we have seen the select statement, uh, select statement in SQL. Now this select statement in SQL corresponds to the projection operation in relational algebra. Now let's say, let us consider the example. I want to retrieve the name and age from this employee table. Now in SQL, how, how will I write this command? So I have to use select command. So how will I, how will I write select name comma age from the table name that is employee. Now if I want to write the same thing in relational algebra. So how will I write? I will use projection. So in projection I will write pi because pi denotes projection operation. Then the subscript will be name and age that is nothing but the attribute list that I want to consider or I want to display or I want to project on. So name and age and the relation, ta relation name or the table name is EMP. So this is how we write. So projection and select statement will are uh, similar. Then let us take one example. So I want to project the name of the employees in the employee table. So how will I write? So I have to write it as the notation will be projection operation. What I want to highlight or what I want to display the name. So in attribute list there will be name and the relation name is employee. So it will display the entire name of the employees. Then the next example is I want to project the age of the employees in employee table. So here simply in attribute list there will be age but then here just observe there are two records of similar age again here duplication is there so one of the record will be discarded so how many values we are having actually ideally it is they are six in the table but then when we are projecting it on age we are finding there are two duplicate or uh, there are two records of the same value so here one value will be discarded and we will be having only five records in that so here only 33 even though it is coming twice it is only considered as one so 33 36 24 18 and 21 these are the different values that we will be obtaining after putting projection uh, on the table then the third example what we will be seeing is we, i want to display the employee id the name of the employees whose age is greater than 21. Now here, 
how will i write this particular statement so for this i have to combine selection as well as the projection operation now row stands for selection now how will i do that so first we will find out which are the employees which are having age greater than 21 so these are the four employees who are having uh, ages which is greater than 21 now for this i have to first parse the query from right hand to left hand side so first i have to perform the selection operation so after performing the selection operation what it will do it will first check which what all employees are greater than 21 so we found out that these four employees are greater than 21 now moving towards the left hand side that means after uh, getting this selection table that means if i run this selection table uh, uh, selection operation on the table employee name the i will get this four rec four employee ka records now that is one two three four and i will get entire uh, values that is employee id name age address and salary for all the four employees but then i am going towards the left because i am projecting something that means i want to display how many columns i want to display only two columns because i have given only two columns in the attribute list so which are those that is employee id and name so on obtaining after obtaining the selection operation i after performing the selection operation i am getting this table now on this table i have to perform the projection operation so here in projection operation what are, what are the two attribute lists this is employee id and name so simply employee id and name will be displayed as an output so i hope everyone has understood this projection operation thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts please do post in the comment blocks and please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you everyone